resonance structures. In this lecture, I will teach you my personal trick of drawing resonance structures. Also, I will teach you the complete concept of resonance and resonance structures. Remember that you can only learn this topic if you watch this lecture completely. Firstly, let me teach you the basic concept of resonance. Well, consider this clock. We all know that the hands of this clock are continuously moving inside the clock. I mean, we cannot say that hands of the clock are at this position or at this position. Rather, they are continuously moving. Similarly, consider this benzene structure. Just like hands of the clock, pi electrons are continuously moving inside this benzene structure. Now, this shifting of pi electrons inside benzene structure is known as resonance. So, resonance is the possibility of shifting pi electrons inside a molecule. Now, here is one important question. How these pi electrons move inside the benzene ring? Well, the simple answer is, it is due to electrons delocalization in pi bonds. Hence, we will learn the complete concept of electrons delocalization in pi bond. Consider this compound. There is one double bond between first carbon and second carbon. We know that in every double bond, one is sigma bond and one is pi bond. Now listen carefully. In pi bond, electrons are loosely held between atoms and move freely. These freely moving electrons are known as delocalized pi electrons. So we have learned that electrons are loosely held in pi bonds and they therefore move freely inside the molecule. Now again consider the benzene structure. We know that there are alternate double and single bond present in a benzene structure. So this is a pi bond, this is second pi bond and this is the third pi bond. Now let me ask you again, why electrons are moving in this benzene structure? Well, your answer is simple. There are pi bonds present in a benzene. Electrons are loosely held in pi bonds due to which electrons freely move inside the benzene structure. So note it down this very very important point that electrons are moving freely in a compound if there is pi bond. Now what is resonance and resonance structures? Well, consider this compound. Here is one very important rule which you must remember throughout this lecture. Pi bond is equal to pi electrons. Let me repeat it. Pi bond is equal to pi electrons. Here there is pi bond or pi electrons between first and second carbon. We have already learned that pi electrons move freely. Now at the third carbon, there is positive charge or vacant orbit. Also remember this rule. If there is positive charge, it is also known as vacant orbit. So there is possibility that the pi electron shift from first carbon to third carbon. Let me repeat this important point. There is possibility that the pi electron shift from first carbon to third carbon. Thus this possibility of shifting electrons from one atom to another atom is known as resonance. Remember that I use the word possibility. So shifting of electron is a possibility. Secondly, when these pi electrons shift from first carbon to third carbon, we will get another structure. Now here, this first carbon has lost electron, so positive charge will appear on it. While this third carbon has gained electron, so negative charge will appear on it. Remember that the second carbon has neither gained nor lost any electron, so it remains as it is. Now this structure and this structure are known as resonance structures or resonating structures. So we define resonance structures as the different structures formed due to resonance are called resonance structures. So we have learned these basic concept of resonance and resonance structure. Now let me teach you the possibility of resonance structure. 
वेल कंसिडर मिस्टर पाई एंड मिस सिग्मा आई से पाई सिग्मा लव ईच अदर हियर एल स्टैंड फॉर लॉन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दिस ओ स्टैंड फॉर डॉट आर फ्री रेडिकल एंड दिस वी स्टैंड फॉर वेकेंट और बिटल नो रेजोनेंस इज पॉसिबल इफ देयर इज पाई सिग्मा प्लस लॉन पेयर प्रेजेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर दिस मॉलिक्यूल हेयर दिस इज अ पाई बॉन्ड सिग्मा बॉन्ड एंड लॉन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो रेजोनेंस और रेजोनेंस स्ट्रक्चर आर पॉसिबल सेकेंडली रेजोनेंस इज पॉसिबल इफ दियर इज पाई सिग्मा प्लस फ्री रेडिकल फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर दिस मॉलिक्यूल हेयर दिस इज पाई बॉन्ड दिस इज सिग्मा बॉन्ड एंड दिस इज फ्री रेडिकल थर्डली रेजोनेंस इज पॉसिबल इफ दियर इज पाई सिग्मा प्लस वेकेंट ऑर्बिट फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर दिस मॉलिक्यूल हेयर दिस इज पाई बॉन्ड दिस इज सिग्मा बॉन्ड एंड दिस पॉजिटिव साइन मीन्स वेकेंट ऑर्बिट हेयर लेट मी आस्क यू वन इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज रेजोनेंस पॉसिबल इन एन एच थ्री वेल द आंसर इज नो देर इज नो पाई बॉन्ड प्रेजेंट इन एट सो रेजोनेंस इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन एन एच थ्री दिस रिमेंबर दिस निमोनिक Pi sigma love. Now let me teach you my personal easy trick of resonance structures. Firstly, we will learn the resonance structures of linear geometry molecules. I divide them into two types: type one and type two. For type one, I write need electrons. For type two, I write do not need electrons. Now consider this molecule. We already know that. There are pi electrons present in this pi bond. While this positive sign means that this carbon needs one electron. Hence, this one pi electron will shift from first carbon to third carbon. We get this structure. Remember that when I shift electron, I shift double bond. Let me repeat it. When I shift electron, I shift double bond. Now, first carbon has lost one electron, so charge appears on it. Third carbon has gained electron, so its octet rule or empty orbit is completed. What about its hybrid structure? Well, I write CH two single bond CH single bond CH two. Now, double bond is present here in this structure, and double bond is present here in this structure. So, I draw dots here. I also draw dots here. This dot represents the formation of double bonds between atoms. The positive charge is here in this structure and the positive charge is here in this structure. I draw here positive charge and positive charge here. So there are two resonance structures of this compound. Remember that hybrid structure is a complete a real structure of any molecule while resonance structures are fake are imaginary structures. Now I will use this trick to draw resonance structures of many molecules. Let's consider this molecule. Here this dot means free radical or this carbon has one electron and it needs one more electron. Now there are pi electrons present here. So this electron will shift here. I get this structure. Here one electron is remaining on this first carbon. it is represented as a dot or free radical for hybrid structure i write ch2 single bond ch single bond ch2 no double bond may be here or may be here the free radical may be here or may be here so these are the two resonance structures of this molecule thirdly consider this structure this positive sign means that it needs electron There are pi electrons present in this pi bond, so pi electron will shift here to this carbon. I get this structure. Electron is lost by the third carbon, so positive charge appear on third carbon. Also, we can see that there is possibility that these pi electrons shift to this vacant orbital. So I get this structure. Here, electron shifted from first carbon to third carbon. so positive charge appears on first carbon now the hybrid structure is i write this structure there is double bond present here double bond present here and there is double bond present here 
and there is double bond present here. The positive charge is on the first carbon, on the third carbon and on the fifth carbon. There are total three resonance structures of this molecule. Now let me teach you the second type. We know that we do not need electrons. For example, consider this molecule. Here there are pi electrons present. This negative sign means this carbon has already extra electron. So it doesn't need any more electron. So this electron will shift here and this pi electron will shift here. Remember that we usually draw double arrow or two times shifting of electrons and type two questions. I get this structure. Now this carbon lost his extra electron and double bond is formed here. Secondly, this extra pi electron is shifted here so negative charge appear on this carbon. For hybrid structure, I write CH2 single bond CH2 single bond CH2. There is double bond present here and here. The negative charge is present either on this carbon or on this carbon. Here, this molecule has two resonance structures. Secondly, consider this structure. Remember that these two dot means this oxygen has two lone pair of electrons. It doesn't need any electron. So electron will shift here. Also, this pi electron will shift to this carbon. I get this structure. Now this oxygen has lost electron. Positive charge appears on it. This carbon has gained electron. Negative charge appears on it. For hybrid structure, I draw CH2 single bond CH single bond OH. There is double bond present here, present here. The positive charge is present on this oxygen and the negative charge is present on this carbon. Overall, positive charge and negative charge cancel each other and this molecule is a neutral molecule. Thus using these two tricks, we can easily draw resonance structures of molecules having linear geometry. Now I will teach you trick of drawing resonance structures of molecules having tet geometry. Consider carbonate ion. Remember that when oxygen forms single bond, it has three lone pair of electrons and negative charge. If oxygen form double bond, it has two lone pair of electrons and it has no negative or positive charge. Now in case of carbonate ion, carbon is double bonded to first oxygen and single bonded to second and third oxygen. Here oxygen is double bonded so it has two lone pair of electrons. There oxygen is single bonded, it has three lone pair of electrons and negative charge. Also this oxygen has three lone pair of electrons and negative charge. Now the trick for such type of question is rotate 90 degree and reflect in the mirror. When I rotate this structure 90 degree clockwise, this oxygen will come here. So I rotate it 90 degree clockwise. I get this structure. Secondly, I place mirror in front of this structure. This oxygen will be here and this oxygen will be here. After reflection, I get this structure. So these are the three resonance structures of carbonate ion. Now what about its hybrid structure? Well, consider this structure. We know that double bond is present here, here and here. Also we know that the net charge on carbonate ion is negative 2. Secondly, consider nitrate ion. We know that this oxygen is double bonded to nitrogen so it has two lone pair of electrons. This oxygen is single bonded to nitrogen, so it has three lone pair of electrons and a negative charge. Also, this oxygen is single bonded to nitrogen, so it has three lone pair of electrons and a negative charge. Remember that when nitrogen forms four bonds, positive charge appears on it. Now I will rotate this by 90 degree clockwise. This oxygen will come here and this oxygen will come there. I get this structure. Secondly, I place mirror in front of this structure. 
this oxygen will be here and this oxygen will be there. After reflection, I get this structure. So there are three resonance structures of nitrate ion. What about its hybrid structure? Well, consider nitrate ion. Double bond is present here, here and here. We know that net charge on nitrate ion is negative 1. Thirdly, consider this structure. Pause the video and try to draw its resonance structures. Well, I rotate it 90 degree clockwise, I get this structure. Secondly, I place mirror in front of this structure. After reflection, I get this structure. So there are three resonance structures of this molecule. Now to draw its hybrid structure, we know that double bond is present on each side. The net charge is positive on this molecule. So using this trick, we can easily draw the resonance structures of these molecules. Also remember that there are some exceptional cases like O3. Here we do not rotate it, rather we just reflect it. After reflection, we get this structure. Now what about its hybrid structure? Well, we can easily draw its hybrid structure like this. Thus using this trick, we can easily draw resonance structures of molecules having type geometry. Lastly, let me teach you the trick of drawing resonance structures of ring-shaped molecule. Now consider this first type molecules. Here, firstly, I place mirror in front of it. After reflection, I get this structure. We know that this positive sign means it needs electrons. Hence, this pi electrons will shift here and positive charge will appear on this carbon. Secondly, I draw only three ring structures. I put double bond CH2, double bond CH2, double bond CH2 on each of them. Now, I write 1, 3, 5. This one means positive charge is present at first position. 3 means positive charge is present at third position. And fifth means positive charge is present at fifth position. Now I will start putting double bond starting from positive charge. This is positive charge. I skip this. I place double bond here. Also from this positive charge, I skip this. I place double bond here. I skip this. I place double bond here. Similarly, from this positive charge, I skip this. I place double bond here. I skip this. I place double bond here. These are the five different resonance structures of this molecule. In case of its hybrid structure, I just put dotted ring inside the benzene ring to show the flow of double bond. Also, I put here dotted line and the net charge is positive. So in the first case, the species attached to benzene ring needs electrons and we usually place positive charge on first, third and fifth position. Now consider second type a ring structures molecule. Here, these molecules have lone pair of electrons on the species attached to the benzene ring. So they do not need electrons. Now I pick one molecule and draw their resonance structures. Consider aniline. Firstly, I place mirror in front of it. After reflection, I get this structure. We know that this nitrogen has lone pair of electrons. It will be shifted to this carbon. So positive charge appears on nitrogen. Here, there are pi electrons. They will be shifted to this carbon. Negative charge appear on this carbon. Secondly, I draw three ring structures. I attach double bond NH2 positive, double bond NH2 positive, double bond NH2 positive to each benzene ring. I write 1, 3, 5. Now this negative sign is present at first carbon, at third carbon and at fifth carbon. I put two alternate double bonds starting from negative sign. I get these five resonance structures of aniline. Its hybrid structure is, I draw benzene structure, I put dotted circle inside it and I draw one dotted line here to represent double bond. 
This is the hybrid structure. Hence, using this same method, we can draw resonance structures of these remaining molecules. Remember that we can only use these all tricks at basic level, which covers your 90% course. We cannot use these tricks at higher or advanced level. I hope that you have learned the complete concept of resonance structures.